Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. Today's video is going to be threefold purpose. One is a quick review of a bag that you've seen in a lot of my videos and a lot of people have been asking me for a review on. This is the Vertex Commuter Sling. That patch isn't included, but you could get it from endoapparel.com if you're into it. Part two is to announce that as of, I think, I'm planning on launching this video on the release date. As of today, right now, if you're on the notification squad, new colors. New colors are in. New colors are in. All the new colors of the bags that you've been waiting and hoping and praying for, they're live on the site. Vertex.com. I also have a coupon code for you guys over there, L-L-O-D. Those four letters will save you 25% off of anything at, at Vertex.com, V-E-R-T-X.com. Also, this is part of part three, that same code, L-L-O-D, saves you 10% off of anything at PremierBodyArmor.com. Okay, so now for the third announcement is that this month's Patreon giveaway is a Vertex commuter sling and a... Premier body armor panel. Both. So you get the pack and the panel, it's a few hundred bucks worth of value. So if you want that, head on over to my Patreon, patreon.com slash L-L-O-D. 556 level, I do a giveaway over there every single month. Sick giveaways, this is the sickest giveaway yet. So um, if you're into giveaways, if you're into supporting uh, content creators, check that out over there. And now we're just gonna get into a quick Quick overview of the commuter sling. All right, so we'll just get into the bag here. I don't have all the new colors with me. Uh, Vertex sent me out just so I could show you. Uh, I do have to send them back. That's why all the tags are still on here, though. So this is a uh, commuter sling. I don't know the color. I think a stone, maybe. This is, I really like this color. This is, this is one of my favorite colors, probably, personally. Uh, we have a transit sling here. So this is basically a smaller version of the commuter. So if you're, if the commuter's too big, if this sling bag is too big, it's, it's not a huge bag. It's much smaller than the gamut, which you've seen. It's a little bit smaller, I think, than the EDC Ready Pack. But if this is too big, or if you just need a smaller bag for something, we have the transit. This is my personal favorite color. This is in the heather gray. The gamut also, this bag, which is my EDC laptop bag, came out, I believe, in Heather also. So I'll probably try and snag one of those uh, for myself. So if you're wondering, this is the commuter. This is the transit. Uh, the transit, I'm not going to do a review on it, but uh, basically it's a trimmed down version of the commuter. We'll get into all the features of the commuter here in a second. It does have this little pivot point on the sling that the commuter does not have, which is, uh, I don't know, I haven't actually used this bag, so this is the first time I've seen it. Uh, so I don't know if that helps much. It seems like a cool, cool feature, and it is detachable up there at the top with that hinge point. So that's kind of neat. Also does have the QD, quick detach, not really QD, but <laughs> buckle, quick detach buckle here. Um, has the big YKK zippers, easy access to your kind of gun panel pocket. Uh, it does have one less, sorry, does have one less pocket overall, and it does still have this pull down Molly Velcro deal here if you're into that. So smaller sling and a little cheaper as well. This is another color. It's kind of like a brighter blue that's going to be available. And then this color, which is a little bit of a darker blue, looks like the same blue that basically that my, my current gamut is. And I think they're keeping all the current colors, and there's probably a couple other colors that weren't represented there as well. So all of Vertex's bags have new colors. So they just launched, it's like the summer launch of them, so if you're into a new color, go check those out. Okay, so if you're wondering why my face is cut off, it's because I kind of want to show the features of the back, right? Um, so here it is. This is what the sling is going to look like from the front. It has a single strap. It's a sling bag. I don't really use these for EDC, so my bag is actually pretty, uh, pretty empty. I had it set up with some, 
some gear that I was testing, but then kind of took most of it out to test out some new gear. So it's pretty empty. So we do have this other side strap here. Uh, the thing with sling bags a lot of times is they'll kind of start binding up on your neck a little bit and they kind of flop around because this area is kind of floppy. Whereas this area isn't as floppy because it's got the strap here. So a lot of sling bags will integrate this strap over here, which both helps with the floppiness. Now as you're running, it's more stuck to your back like a traditional backpack with kind of a sternum strap or a waist strap. Uh, and it also alleviates a little bit of the pressure over here as well when you put that on. So if you're going for like a long, you know, if you're going to jog or maybe even do a long walk or ride a bike, you might want to, you might want to hook that up for the added bit of security. Um, I don't commute really, so typically my backpack, either I'm hiking with it or I'm just kind of single shouldering it from my car to my office, like 50 feet or something. So I, I personally don't have a lot of experience with sling bags, but for me, one of the main advantages if you've seen in my videos is the ability to swing the bag over like this very fast. And when you have a premier body armor panel in here, then you now have kind of a pseudo bulletproof vest in front of you, as well as quick access to this pocket back here, which for me, have a Glock 26 in a holster. Just for the sake of showing it, I also have a Glock 19 here, so I need to open this up a little more, in another holster. So I'll show that here. So let's kind of go through the pockets of the bag, basically. The first pocket, which I can't, I actually have this bag set up a little differently because I have the big pulley strap not on the main pocket that it's used for because I don't use these bags for pistols. I carry appendix IWB on body. I do make and sell holsters. Uh, if you're interested in appendix carry holsters, go to llod.us. So I switched this to this other pocket which we'll get into in a second because that other pocket does fit like a folder. Let's get into this pocket right here. What this has is if you unzip it all the way, it has this whole thing. And this whole thing is this like kind of Velcro. Not sure how good you can see it, but it's like the soft side of the Velcro. It's the loop side of the Velcro, not the hook side. So what I have here is an old holster that I made for a an, an much older sling bag that I had uh, that my dog ate when he was a puppy. And this was just the holster I made myself. You can see, check out all that dog hair that it collected. Anyway, this is a holster I made that has a Velcro back. I didn't even make it for this bag because I didn't even have this bag when I made the holster, but it works great in this bag. Alternatively, so Vertex has a thing called Tactigami, which is basically kind of a build your own holster system. There, there's other stuff with it too, but basically you can make a holster for a gun and you can really mold it to whatever gun you want. You can mold it to the light anyway. So this is another product that Vertex sells called Tactigami. They have a bunch of different stuff. So they sent me out a bunch of stuff to try. I haven't tried it. This is one where you can basically turn your Velcro into Molly. Bunch of those. Here's like little magazine pouch type dealios. So Vertex uh, is very strong in the Velcro game. But anyways, so you can put stuff here. And then what you have behind here, actually this bottom zipper, I have it in here. I'm not gonna take it out because it's precision fit. But this is a premier body armor panel. This is stops handgun rounds up to 44 cal and uh, actually stops 50 cal as well if you're curious because I tested it. Get to that later. So you got Velcro here, you got Velcro here. This would be a good spot to obviously put a handgun if you're into it, uh, put some trauma kits, maybe a tourniquet, uh, some quick clot, what other other pouches, spare mags, that kind of stuff. And that's this back pocket. Sorry, I kind of have these guns in here in a weird place, so it makes the zipper a little hard. Anyway, big 
solid YKK zipper, super easy to manipulate. The key here, if you go slow on these zippers, you kind of, well actually that was very smooth. But if you go slow on these zippers, there are like certain points that get caught up. I'm trying to get it caught up. Okay, there actually got caught up. They get caught up a little more. The key is, especially if you're using this big thing, is just to go fast. If you go fast, it's not gonna get caught up. So if you find zippers, and this isn't specific to the Vertex bag, if you find zippers that get caught, pull it fast, usually that's going to be a much smoother solution. Same thing with the holster, if it has a lot of retention, when you're pulling it slow, pulling it quickly will break that retention much easier. So speed, speed is key. What else do we have here? We have this little handle here, which I don't know if you can see it, it kind of blends in, but it's a little slot here and it has kind of like a stiffening insert. It's similar to this handle, which it can just be used as a grab handle when it's on your the seat of your car or on the seat next to you in a bus or something. But also when you pull this over, what I found is this handle is really nice to help get the bag up off of your shoulder because it has a little bit of rigidity. That's the main thing I'm using this handle for because to get the bag off, you can either unclip it, which some people like to do. This is a buckle here. So I'm trying to do it without actually dropping the bag while showing you. So this is just a big buckle here. You can unclip it and then the bag just comes right off, obviously. Um, I don't really like doing that because I don't like having to rebuckle it. Uh, or you can just grab the strap lift it up over your shoulder. A little more difficult if you have a hat on or something. Or you can kind of, what I like to do is you kind of pull it around a little bit to where you can grab this with your left hand up and over your shoulder. So that's the setup. That's the system I use. So that's this little handle. Okay, and then we'll get into the rest. The next pocket where I have this bag set up with the big easy grab thing. So I don't know, you guys have probably seen my other Vertex bag videos. So some of this is, a lot of the features of the Vertex bags span their range of bags. So a lot of things have carryover. So you've probably seen me and seen me talk about these. But this is basically a big grab handle that doesn't, you know, just kind of looks like a bag ID tag or something. It doesn't look, you know, doesn't scream tactical, I don't think, but but I don't know. I obviously know what it's for. So it's basically when the bag is over like this, you have something that's easy. It's big and easy to grab. So this will allow you both to fling the bag over into your chest and it will allow you to quickly open up a pocket. So typically, like I said, it's on the back panel. I have it on this panel because I can put bigger items in this pocket, AKA something like this folder. This is an Angstat 9mm AR. A lot of tactical adapter here. And the beauty of this gun is it now fits right into this bag. So if you want to carry <laughs> a little more firepower than your standard pistol and carry this pistol, you can. And now you have your sling bag, whatever. So this was the big appeal to this bag for me because I was getting into these folders and I wanted a bag that I could carry one in uh, situationally if I wanted to. Here's a Chris Vector. I did a whole review on this gun on my channel if you're into it. Also, fits nicely into this pocket. So if you're wondering why I don't put it in the back pocket where it like, kind of is designated for guns, it's because that pocket's just a little too narrow for a folding stock gun like that. This pocket is bigger. So here we get into some more beauty of this bag. As a sling bag, it's designed to be highly functional when you actually are pulling it over across your chest. So you're standing, you're in a commute, you're on a 
subway, whatever, and you want to be able to access your stuff. With your traditional backpack, you'd have to take it off, you know, put it on the front, kind of awkwardly look down in there, whatever, if you want to access it standing, or you set it on the ground. With a sling pack here, you can get to it from here. So here is a little, this is kind of, this is probably my least favorite part of the bag if I was actually going to use it as a work bag. This is what you got for your laptop thing. Put it in here, and you can strap it in with this little thing. Doesn't provide much protection really uh, to the laptop, so if I was using this, I'd probably put its own sleeve in that you can slide the laptop in. They do sell sleeves that obviously you can access from the wider part, so I'd probably just put a sleeve and leave it in here if I was using it for a laptop. But yeah, so you can get your laptop out while you're standing up like this. So that's a nice little feature. And all these pockets are lined with their little Velcro stuff, and there's a lot of pockets within pockets here, so we have a pocket inside of here, which you could use for, you know, like a water bladder, you could put, you could technically, you know, probably fit your laptop in there if you wanted to, but it's kind of a tight pocket to get into, not super easy access, but you do have some nice pockets over here. So these pockets here are facing you. So when I'm looking at the bag, basically like this, I see these pockets and can get down into them. So this is kind of awkward or hard to show here. But basically these pockets have little Velcro tops. There's two of them and you can put stuff down in them. They're fairly big pockets. So yeah, they're fairly big, kind of just like dump pockets that you can use to access your gear. Nice light tan color so you can see down into the pockets and check out what you got going in there. So that's the second main kind of big, big pocket. The fabric is all pretty heavy duty Cordura. The zippers are all pretty heavy duty uh, YKK. And they do all have pretty nice pull tabs on them. So then we get into this next pocket, which is kind of your organizational pocket for your smaller items. So again, we have Velcro here so we can attach pouches or patches or whatever you want. And then we have some bigger organizational pockets here for all your pens and things like that. So these are vertical, oriented vertically when the pack is like this. Another zipper pocket in here. In this zipper pocket, we got our little key keeper. And then another just kind of dump pocket that also, this pocket and the previous pocket kind of have this gusset flap here that will keep it from completely opening up. And if you have items in here and you open it when it's in this orientation, they won't completely fall out. They'll kind of get caught there. So that's the next pocket. And then we'll get to the final pocket, which is probably more better accessed when the bag is in vertical orientation. So this pocket exists just like it does on the gamut, where this has your grab handle here, and it has a quick access down to this pocket. So this pocket has your Molly and then more Velcro here. You are presented with some straps that are little are kind of retained here. And they're these types, metal, really high quality clips. These hook into your little tabs over here. And then you can kind of have an expansion chamber here where you can stuff a helmet or a jacket or whatever like that. So this thing kind of folds down. You can get access to this. This also has kind of a hidden pocket up in here that's held off by Velcro. So A, it's a hidden pocket if you want to hide stuff in there, but also if you want to have your Molly Velcro panel exposed, you can tuck that panel back up in there. I kind of did a sloppy job. And then you have just your clean, flush Molly Velcro attachments there. What else? On the back, you have your typical grab handle here. You have your Vertex logo and padding here. The strap is pretty thick, robust, padded, and it does have some places to lash some more gear. On the outside, everything is super high quality as you've come to expect from Vertex products. All of the Velcro strappies do have these little Velcro loops tied to them so you can organize your excess straps and 
keep them under control. All right, I think that about wraps up the features of the commuter. All right, guys, as always, hope everything's good with you. If you're wondering what's going on here with my dirt on my face, about once every year or two, I'm a few days in now, about once every year or two, I try to see if I have any facial hair that's grown in yet, and every year is kind of the same thing, I don't, so it's kind of a failed experiment every year, but, but you get to witness the failed experiment this year. So I'll probably let it go for a few more days or a week or something until I just get too sick of looking at myself and shave it all off. But anyways, that's what's, that's what, that's what's going on here. All right, thanks for the support again. I, I linked everything down in the video descriptions below. And if you're sick of bags, I'm sorry. I, I, I like bags. I love bags. I love gear. So there's going to be more bag videos to come. The next bag video actually is going to come very soon. That's going to be on the video where I shot up, shot this Vertex bag and with the Premier Body Armor panel. Spoiler alert, I shoot it with a 50 cal, I shoot it with a 300 blackout, so if you're interested in wondering how it did, stay tuned, get subscribed. Uh, and then I'll be doing my get home bag video at some point in the near-ish future. I'm still kind of setting it up in my new uh, VanQuest bag. So yeah, if you're into that, stay tuned. All right, I'm going to go get to bed. So take it easy, guys.